Hi everyone welcome to what of what learning these videos are very useful for the people who are doing short term preparation for any competitive examination related to mining in today's what of what video we are going to learn about the ambient air quality standard the national ambient air quality standard which can also be called as NAAQS was set by the Central Pollution Control Board CPCB in the year 2009 in this standard we are monitoring 12 pollutants all over the india whenever you are studying about this standard in this standard they have mentioned what is the pollutant and in which measurement they should be measured and what is the time weighted average whether we are monitoring annually or whether we are monitoring 24 hours 8 hours or 1 hour and the monitoring area is classified under two category whether it is industrial or residential area or whether it is ecologically sensitive area as mentioned by the central government before studying this standard you should remember that the time weighted average duration that is annual arithmetic means we should have taken minimum 104 measurements in a year at a particular site that and it should and it should also be taken twice in a week for 24 hours at a uniform interval while 24 hourly or 8 hourly or 1 hourly monitored values as applicable to the particular pollutant they may exceed the limits but it should not happen on two consecutive days of monitoring now let's individually see the pollutants standard the first pollutant that we are going to see is sulfur dioxide and its unit is microgram per meter cube and the standard they have mentioned annually for sulfur dioxide is 50 in industrial and residential area and for 24 hours it should not exceed 80 and in ecologically sensitive area for annual weighted average it should not exceed 20 micrograms per meter cube and for 24 hours it should not exceed 80 microgram per meter cube the second pollutant that we are going to see is nitrogen dioxide and its unit is microgram per meter cube and in the industrial residential area the annual weighted average should not be more than 40 microgram per meter cube and in 24 hours taken value it should not exceed 80 microgram per meter cube in ecologically sensitive area the annual value should not exceed 30 microgram per meter cube and in 24 hours taken value it should not exceed 80 microgram per meter cube the third pollutant that we are going to see is particulate matter pm10 and its unit is microgram per meter cube in industrial and residential area the annual value should not exceed 60 microgram per meter cube and the 24 hours value should not increase should not exceed 100 microgram per meter cube in ecologically sensitive area the annual value should not exceed 60 microgram per meter cube and the 24 hours value should not exceed 100 microgram per meter cube the fourth pollutant that we are going to see is particulate matter pm2.5 and its unit is microgram per meter cube in industrially industrial and residential area the annual value should not exceed 40 microgram per meter cube and the 24 hours value should not exceed 60 microgram per meter cube in ecologically sensitive area the annual value should not exceed 40 microgram per meter cube and the 24 hours value should not exceed 60 microgram per meter cube 
The fifth pollutant that we are going to see is ozone and its unit is also microgram per metric cube. In industrial and residential area, here it is given as 8 hours value should not exceed 100 microgram per metric cube and the 1 hourly value should not exceed 180 microgram per metric cube. In ecologically sensitive area, the 8 hours value should not exceed 100 microgram per metric cube and the 1 hour value should not exceed 180 microgram per metric cube. The sixth pollutant we are going to see is lead. Its unit is also microgram per metric cube, but here it is the weighted averages annually and 24 hours lead. In industrial and residential area, the annual value should not exceed 0 0.50 microgram per metric cube, while the 24 hours value should not exceed 1 microgram per metric cube. In ecologically sensitive area, the annual value should not exceed 0 0.50 microgram per metric cube, while the 24 hours value should not exceed 1 microgram per metric cube. The next pollutant we are going to see is carbon monoxide. Its unit is milligram per metric cube and in industrial and residential area, the 8 hours value should not exceed 2 milligram per metric cube, while the 1 hour value should not exceed 4 milligram per metric cube. In ecologically sensitive area, the 8 hours value should not exceed 2 milligram per metric cube, while the 1 hour value should not exceed 4 milligram per metric cube. The eighth pollutant that we are going to see is ammonia. Its unit is microgram per metric cube. In residential and industrial area, the annual value should not exceed 100 microgram per metric cube, and the 24 hours value should not exceed 400 microgram per metric cube. In ecologically sensitive area, the annual value should not exceed 100 microgram per metric cube, while the 24 hours value should not exceed 400 microgram per metric cube. The ninth pollutant that we are going to see is benzene. Its unit is microgram per metric cube. The annual value of benzene in industrial residential area should not exceed 5 microgram per metric cube. While the ecologically sensitive area, the annual value should not exceed 5 microgram per metric cube. The tenth pollutant that we are going to see is benzoepyrene. Its unit is nanogram per metric cube. And for this pollutant, in industrial and ecological sensitive area, the annual value should not exceed 1 nanogram per metric cube. The 11th pollutant that we are going to see is arsenic. Its unit is also nanogram per metric cube and for arsenic, both industrial and ecological sensitive area, the annual value should not exceed 6 nanogram per metric cube. The 12th pollutant that we are going to see is nickel. Its unit is also nanogram per metric cube and the value at industrial and ecological sensitive area measured annually should not exceed 20 nanogram per metric cube. In today's video, we saw about the ambient air quality standard. You may feel how to remember all these things. But in most of the questions, two, comp two pollutants are mostly asked. One is particulate matter 10 and particulate matter 2.5. Remember the values for this pollutant at least for feeling difficult to learn all the things. Hope this video was very useful to you. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you in the next video. Thank you.